Well, folks, welcome back to another farm vlog. Today, we're not fishing. We're at the farm. What's up, squad? Are we doing farm things? Farm Ch things. Chicken things? Chicken. Well, no, we don't have chickens yet. Look at this. Looks like looks like we're growing things in here. How's this thing looking? You know what I also realized? We this this isn't the right kind of fence. This, this is, is the this right is kind. This is the right kind of fence. This is like. Look at that, coyote paws, fox paws. Bonzel hands. Bonzel hands, yeah, everything. It's Everything's a danger around here. So we for sure need to fix that at some point before we get chickens. But if you guys are new to the channel, welcome back, this is the farm. We built a little homemade chicken coop here. We need to go buy chickens. But first, we need to basically get an automatic water and an automatic feeder put into this thing. Because I'm not here every day. I'm out doing googing things sometimes. I'm not here every single day to feed the chickens and give them water. So we gotta make an auto water. Which again, you could go buy the store, but what's the fun in that? I feel like we should make it. And uh, we can pretty much make it for like, I would say the, the the water you're gonna make for under 10 bucks and the feeder you're probably gonna make for under 10 bucks as well. So they're gonna be cheap, very, very cheap, but that's what we need. First, we gotta go check on the pigs. What's up? How's it going? What are you guys doing? What's up, bud? How's it going? How's it going? What are you doing? Oh, oh, wait, you're fine. What are you, what's, come here. Hey, listen, we're friends, remember? Did you forget? Are you disowning me? What's the deal here, folks? Piggy Smalls, what's up, buddy? Notorious P.I.G., doing good? They look super confused. What's up? Cardi, how's it going? See, Cardi's Cardi's my homie. You've been my homie since day one, huh? How are you doing, huh? You doing all right? How are you? How are the rest of your friends doing? Oh, they're all sleeping. Look at them. They're sleeping. I don't want to. I don't want to bother them. Look at Cardi. Cardi's killing it. Well, pigs aren't dead, so that's good. But we're headed back. Just had to make sure you guys are doing good. Would you just relax? Just had to make sure they're good. They're doing just fine. Next thing on our list to check is the garden. The garden has been well. It's been all right. Kill the cucumbers. Haven't had anything to replant for those yet, but there might be some tomatoes that are ready to be picked. We're not really sure, so we're gonna go check. What's up, garden? Is that is that tomato ready yet? Look at that. That is big chungus. That's a big tomato, my dude. That might be my that might be my PB. What about over here? Oh yeah, here we go. Here you go, Bonzel. Sam, you haven't ate one. I'm not a big tomato guy though. Eat that. Tastes like a tomato. You don't like tomatoes, eh? There's some, is there another one? These are like pretty much ripe. That's a little orange. Uh, no, that wasn't quite ripe enough. <laughs> oh yeah, these are doing all right. Put these little cages on. Doing doing good. Eggplant. Look at the eggplant. Doing all right. Jalapenos killing it. What about strawberry? Yeah, that's a bag of wieners. That's not doing a whole lot of anything right there. Well, it's looking like the garden's doing garden things. It's not bad. Doing okay. I mean, the only ones that we've actually eaten anything is the ones that are like pretty much already grown for us. We're not really that good at growing, but they're not dead. There's only one thing that's dead. That was a cucumber. That was dead before we planted it. So not our fault. Everything else has stayed alive. We're good to go. Shoot some clays. Lunchtime. Well, folks, chickens on the grill. This is some uh, wild game jalapeno cheddar summer sausage. This is goose. Shout out to Felix for hooking it up. We got to try this. We haven't had any yet. You guys think you guys feeling good about it? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the cheddar. Look at the jalapeno. Mmm, this is goose. Oh snap. This might be game changing. <clears throat> wow. I like this. Dang. Goose. This is goose. Appetizer is goose. This might be game changing. I think we need every goose that we shoot this year needs to do that. It needs to turn into this thing. This needs to be every goose we shoot. That's freaking good. We're gonna cook up some uh, delicious chicken breast barbecue for lunch, and then we're gonna go to the run of the store and try to make all the feeders in the waters for the chickens that we're gonna get soon. You guys stay tuned. Gordon Ramsay. 
Well, this is lunch. Lunch is served. We got chicken breast, boys. We're about those gains. Healthy gains, right? We're gonna chow down on some lunch, and then uh, we're gonna go to the store. See you guys there. Woo! All right, folks. Well, left the farm. Now, we are at, where are we at? Tractor Supply. We gotta buy some things to build the automatic chicken feeder chicken water. Two different things. We should really get most of the items here. We're probably still gonna have to go to Lowe's, because Lowe's is gonna have some items that these guys probably don't. You guys stay tuned. You ever want a giant silver cock? Kind of. It's only 200 bucks. How heavy is it? Oh, dude, I think we should get this. That could be the mascot for the farm. Dude, I like this store. I've never been into the store before. Maybe like once, but I feel like I'm at home right now. I'm like, this is my place. I might just hang out here. I might get a job here. This place is tight. <laughs> How much fun would this be? Yeah, I think the store is so dangerous. Just imagine that thing, though. I mean, it's got like, it's got the right wheels. You can just go through the cornfields and brah, 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 brah. That could be like the wounded duck chaser. Like, you know, you shoot a goose oh, yeah. and it's like flapping around. You're brah, 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 brah. It's camel too. This place is dangerous. These are BPA free food grade, heavy duty, $3. So we're gonna get, well, let's just get these guys right here. We'll get two of them. One for food, one for water. By the way, this video idea came from a guy named Lumna Acres. He's got a YouTube channel. He's the one that made the video on the chicken coop, and I copied it, basically copying him again. So shout out to him. I'll link his video down below if you guys want to go check it out. Got all the ideas that I'm doing today from him. I mean, because I built the chicken tractor that he showed how to make, so I figured, hey, why not follow the rules, do exactly what he's doing for the feed and the water. Oh my God. I've never seen a trap this big in my life. Dude, that thing could that thing could trap Bond Cell for sure. Should we should we bait him? Yeah. Put like put like a phone with some Snapchat Snapchat on yeah. the Snapchat pad. Put him. That'll bait Bonzel in there. I can't wait for trapping season, dude. November, I think it's like November fifteenth or something. Whew, you raccoons, you raccoons are going down. These are. They said if you get ducks, these ones are for ducks. So they they hit it and it fills the cup up and then they can drink from it. So those are better for ducks, I guess. But for the chickens, you don't need them. Maybe we get ducks. I'll buy some. Boom, nipples. That's what we came here for. Little poultry watering nipples this is for the watering. I say we get, we should get two of these. We can do maybe two on the outside. So we have like two, six. We'll have six nipples. We'll put one on the outside and then we'll put four and then we'll put another one on the outside. In case, maybe they like the cup, maybe they don't. So we're gonna get both. Nipples, check. Oh God, today might be the day, boys. Should we, should we send it on these or what? These are, I would sweat incredible amounts of water out of my body wearing these. They're so heavy. Like in the winter, maybe. These are so heavy. You're gonna be drenched in two seconds, dude. I can't. I'd be that and then just shirtless and I'd still be sweating. Maybe this fall. This is gonna be this is gonna be the fall fit right here. But right now it's way too hot outside. Either that or I can cut them off. Maybe I can make some, is that a thing? Overall shorts? Ooh, you ever seen somebody do those that? Those are rompers. Ma, what do you call them? It's a man. What's a man romper? There's a name for that. A man romper. Should I should I buy these and make them a man romper? It's kind of tempting. I still feel like they're gonna be too heavy, dude. Too heavy. Not today. Woo! And we are at Lowe's, folks. Yeah, not Home Depot, not Menards. We're going to Lowe's today. Don't really matter. I mean, I haven't. I asked you guys before. A lot of you guys didn't really have a whole lot of opinions. It was like I can't remember. Somebody was like, "Hey, I'm a contractor, and you go here for this and here for that." But for the general purposes, I feel like they're pretty much the same. So we only need a few more items. I need a hole saw, I think a couple nails or a couple screws, maybe a rivet. That might be about it. I mean, this is a very low maintenance. Not a whole lot of items necessary needed for this project. So you guys stay tuned. Three inch PVC, 90 degree. Three inch, 90 degree. Boom, you need two of these. Boom, wait, no. JK, you only need one. That's what you need right here. This is a three inch, 90 degree PVC angle elbow thing. Now this, this is optional. We're gonna build a stand for these. Definitely don't need this much wood, but hey, could always use some more wood at the farm for a project. So we're gonna get this long piece of wood to build a stand. You guys will see here in a bit what we're gonna, what we're gonna do with this to add to the chicken coop. Good God, this is expensive. All right, well, I don't have a hole saw. This is like 40 bucks. So if you, hopefully you have a hole saw if you're about to do this. So I, I, I don't, and you need three and a half inch, which nobody sells three and a half inch, except these guys. So I think we got this, and then last thing we need is some rivets. I think that's it. Got some rivets. I don't know if this is what I need, but I'll just buy these. Hope for the best. Here we go, folks. Step one, so we're gonna do this, this section right here. This is all the tools and accessories you're gonna need for the automatic feeder. This is the automatic water. 
Automatic water is a lot easier than the feeder. So we're gonna start with that. First things first, you need a three eighths inch, inch talking, sorry, drill bit. Put that in your drill first. Then what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna, so we have a total of six. We've got two cups and four regular nipples. We're gonna put them all across this little area right here. I'm actually gonna vary them. I'm gonna put the cups, one cup high, one cup low, and then these are gonna be varied as well. So we're gonna do... We'll do the first one at one inch. So that'll be the low one. Then we'll go to about right here. Do another one at an inch. One more towards the end over here at one inch. Then we're gonna go in the middle of this and go all the way up to about, we'll go right about here. Almost four inches, then go right here, almost four inches, and do one more. So, we've got six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all kind of varied. So now, take your drill and drill out the holes. Then, what you're gonna do, once all the holes are drilled out, you can see this, there's a bunch of scrap stuff, so just take a knife, just cut all that. You want to clean that up. You don't want the chickens cutting themselves on the excess plastic that you've got going on here. So just clean all these out real quick. Once those are cleaned out, unbox these guys right here. All right, nipples are out. Pretty much I think all you do is you screw these guys in. It's pretty simple. So I think I'm gonna do one, one high, and then one low for the cup. Cause obviously when you get chickens, you know, you might get them as little babies. They might be pretty much full grown. So you wanna have different levels cause the chicken, the little chicks might not be tall enough to get all the way up here versus you don't want these all the way down here for the, for the full grown one. So next up, take all these and uh, screw them all in. Boom, look at all them nipples. So the idea is basically the, the little chicks feed off these ones a little bit better. I got one high too. But these guys are more for ducks. And I may buy ducks, I don't know. I haven't decided, but ducks do better with these things. Chickens can use these too, but as far as the little chicks go, we've got the three on the bottom and then two right here and then another high one as well, kind of off to the side. So you guys will see a little bit later as we set it up, but essentially it's gonna sit in the corner. Well, let's go test it out. Let's fill it up with some water and see what happens. It's not leaking at the seals though. It's leaking at the nipple. Did I install the nipple wrong? I don't think they're supposed to drip. Like they're dripping real good. These are working fine. They fill, these fill up and stop. These are really just, it's not leaking on the seal. It's just dripping. Yeah, it's not, that's not what you want. We, we figured it out. We're stupid. I didn't follow the directions entirely. I just bought, honestly, this is the only nipples that we, that we could find. These are made to mount vertically, meaning from the bottom of the bucket and the bucket's hanging. Because when this is pulled straight, it doesn't leak. But when it's dangling down, it just drips out water. So we got the wrong one. So we need to return these. You guys get the idea. So fun fact, don't buy these ones. There's some that are made for horizontal. This one's made for vertical. So we installed the wrong ones. No big deal. We'll go return these get the right ones. And these, these little cup things, they work fine. So regardless, you get it. DIY water -er. Now on to the DIY feeder. Well, here we go, folks. First things first, we gotta cut this sucker right in half. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm like, well, these aren't, they're not identical. You see, there's like a thing here. I don't know if that's gonna botch it or not. I bought a three inch 90 degree elbow, which is what I was told to get. So I'll just, I'll just do my best, I guess. Try to cut it in half. I feel like anytime we're building something, I'm like, you know, this is not how you do it, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Cause this is how I wanna do it. And this is the only way I can think of doing it, but don't do this at home. It's one of those moments. All right, I'm glad you trust me. Phew. This is not good. This is not what you're supposed to do, but we're doing it. Hang on, let me let me analyze this, Mike. You're a little bit. We need the right. We need the different kind of saw. This saw is not the right saw. Woo! That was the worst experience. I, look at this. Okay, this is why you don't. No, you're supposed to just. We need. I need to go buy one. This is not gonna work. There's nothing for it to go like. All right, we're just gonna roll with it. I mean, we got one, this piece will work. That piece, we might have to go get a new one. Take your bucket. Now that you've ruined these two pieces, uh, you're gonna wanna go one inch, one inch in from the edge of this label here, about like that. And then go on the other side and go one inch in from the outside. All right, now that you got your two marks, take your hole saw bit, line her on up. There we go. I mean, it worked. Oh, yeah. You also want to keep this piece, by the way. Don't don't ditch this piece. Keep this piece. You're gonna need it for later. All right, next hole. 
Got two holes. What are the odds those things fit in it? Zero. We we got the wrong. These are the wrong ones. Cause they got this thing. Remember I was saying that earlier? It don't fit. That ain't it, Chief. We gotta go back to Lowe's. We made it back. We got the correct ones. I bought two in case I messed it up. And I bought a new saw. It's a saw that I've needed for a long time. Didn't want to spend the money, but I said screw it. We're, we're constantly building stuff. This is a must-have. So enjoy the unboxing. Now we're professionals. That's how it's done, boys. So See, much when you have the proper so equipment, you're good. Try the small one. If the small one works, we're good. Oh, she's fine. So what you want to do, stick them in like this. Take your Sharpie, and on the inside here, you want to mark right there. Put a dot right where it meets. Pop these guys out. Take your drill, put in your drill bit. Pop a hole right down yonder. Next step, remember when I said to keep this thing handy? You're gonna wanna cut about fourth of this off. So right about there, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a third. Boom. Then what you do is you take this thing and you can get tape or glue or whatever you want. I'm just gonna use tape. Place it right there. Tape that on. It might take a couple layers. You could do something more than just tape, but this isn't, it's not like it really needs to hold all that much. You want it to look about like that. There you go. So, you could, the reason why, you guys will see here in just a, a half a second here, why you put this here. The reason why you put this here is when you put this thing inside like this, you can see the food is going to have to be shut. It's gonna, the gravity is automatically gonna shove the food up. That way, when you're moving your bucket, Food's not just splashing everywhere. You can pick this bucket up, you can move around, nothing's gonna come out. But when you fill it all the way up, the food's gonna come right up to here to where the chickens can put their little heads in there and eat it. So last last thing, take your rivet, and you wanna take a pair of pliers, and you want to crimp down one side, about like that. Flatten one side, about like that. And you stick it in, about like that. Make sure it's all the way down. That will hold this in place. Boom, look at that. Automatic chicken feeder. We don't have any chicken feed to test it though. Probably should buy some, but you guys get the idea. Looks about like that. I think it'll work. The feed, you pour, you pour the feed in and it feeds it from the bottom up. It uses gravity and the chickens can peck their little hole, heads in there, get all the food they want. Take it down to the farm and see if it works. Sheesh. Well, made it back. Bounds have stayed here and hold, held the fort down. And we're ready to build the rest of this chicken coop. You guys stay tuned. First things first, we need to make a little platform that goes from here to here that the buckets can rest on. We're going to have the feed on one side, water on the other side. So we need to take this piece of wood that we bought and do that. You want a little overhang, but not much. That should hold it, about like that. About. Eh, they're not quite the same. They'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be perfect. That looks right? good to me. Go. That actually does. That looks pretty good. You get it back far enough. Hey, what up? Mm -hmm. Who's like a famous like shop guy? Basically, about the builder here. Uh, Boom. So you come in here. Ready? We're gonna role play this. Slayman's already. Slayman. All right, get in there as a chicken. But oh, we gotta shut the gate. This is, I get my I get enjoyment out of this. So then it's like in the mornings, I'm like, good morning chickens, how's it going? See, he's like bagakin. See, then he can he can suck on the nipples right here and get all the water he <laughs> Oh my god. I can't get that low. Anyways, I come and I go like, hey, well these are gonna have lids, we have lids. But I'll be like, oh they're out of water. Fill it with water. Boom. Come over here. Y'all are out of food, fill it with food. Boom. Look at that. Food, water, everything you need. And then what you do is you put a rope on this. And you can kind of drag it around so that way they can kind of peck at the ground and get all the grubs and the worms. I feel like we did something for our, our country here. We did. We did big Indeed. things. Well, you so, are missing one thing now. What's that? Chickens. Oh yeah, we need to buy chickens. Comment down below, what kind of chickens should we get? I know nothing about this type of stuff, so let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section down below. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like the farming, homestead, chicken, coop, building type things, 
Also, let me know in the comment section down below. We can come up with more things, but we do need to get chicken. So if you guys have any suggestions of what kind of chickens we should get, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if there's any other video ideas that you have revolving around stuff like this, maybe we should get goats, maybe build a big pen, maybe we should get ducks instead. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.